What's good, y'all? It's your boy, The Virtual Gangster, and I'm back with a not so formal video. Today, I'm gonna be showing you how you can improve the visual quality and the visual fidelity of the image inside of your MetaQuest 3 when you're using the Oculus Link or the Air Link. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. I ain't really ain't got that much to say, but it's your boy, TVG. Thanks for rocking with me. First off, I think the easiest thing to improve your visual fidelity would it be just to increase the resolution of the picture that's being displayed inside your headsets. One of the easiest, simplest ways you can do this is to go to your devices, click your device, scroll down to graphics preferences, and here you can adjust this slider. Now this adjusts the render resolution. The higher the better, um, but there's gonna be more load on your PC. So. You can start there. That should be a pretty good adjustment for you. And you should be able to notice some, some appreciable differences. So the other method and probably the most effective and simple method of improving your visual fidelity in your headset is to use the Oculus debug tool. Now, I know that sounds a little scary, but I'm going to walk you guys through it. All right. So to go to the Oculus debug tool, you have to go to the C drive. Go to program files, look for Oculus, go to support, and then open up Oculus Diagnostics. Once you're in Oculus Diagnostics, you can open up the debug tool. You'll be greeted with a variety of different settings. Um, some of them are important for what we're trying to do. Some of them are not so important. I'm gonna highlight and discuss the settings that are most applicable to this use case scenario. So there are five factors that impact the image quality when using Link. Those five factors are the render resolution, which we already adjusted, the distortion curvature, the encode resolution width, the encode bitrate, and encode link sharpening. I'm gonna go through each one and kind of get a, give a brief explanation for what it does. So first off, we have the render resolution. That's pretty self-explanatory. Just change the resolution of the picture being displayed in your headset. So next up, we have the distortion curvature, and this setting basically changes the pixel density um, of your your lenses. So if you wanted to have a sharper image, you would just go ahead and set this to low. And next up, we have the encode resolution width, and this is this is essentially the the width of the image that's being output to your your lenses. And it's just the resolution of that image, and so you can adjust that. Typically, I match it to what my um, render resolution in the Oculus app is. So earlier I had stated it was 2096, so just go ahead and put 2096. And next we have the encode bitrate. So basically a higher bitrate means less degradation in your image. So the higher this, the higher this number, the better. Um, but just remember you're kind of limited uh, by your USB connection and by Wi-Fi connection if you're using AirLink. So there it does get to a point where it's there's diminishing returns, so adjust this accordingly. Yeah, and then last up, we have link sharpening. This is pretty self-explanatory. Just sh it sharpens the image that's being shown in your headset. So you definitely want to have this on if your system can handle it. So those five settings are are probably the most important settings that you will need to toggle here in the Oculus Debug Tool. Anytime you make a change past this in this Oculus Link section, you're gonna have to restart the Oculus Service by coming to Service and clicking Restart Oculus Service to see those settings uh, take effect. All right, y'all, so that's the end of the video. Hopefully you guys found this information valuable and please consider sharing it with your friends, dropping a like and subscribing to join the TVG family. With that being said, y'all have a nice day and be blessed.